Let's learn about using Dynamic Web Twain on a Linux client machine. We're looking at Ubuntu 16.04. You may be acquainted with the idea of using Twain drivers to connect a scanner to a PC, but on Linux we use Sane drivers. There's a Ubuntu community website that helps with installing the Sane libraries, and so I'm following that. To do an apt-get install for Sane, Sane Utils, Libsane Extras, and Xsane. Yada yada yada, after it's finished I make sure my scanner is detected. And I'll grab that to make it clear that yes, my Canon scanner is seen to be connected on the USB port. Okay. To test the scanner, launch the Xsane image scanning application, and you can do a test scan here. But let's get to Dynamsoft. When we enter the URL for the online demo for the first time, we're prompted to install the browser plugin. No problem. Click Download, Save, OK, navigate to the Downloads directory, double click to install. That needs authentication, and after a moment, it's done. So now close out the browser and relaunch it. Now we can get to the scanning demo, this time no prompt to install of course, and my Canon scanner appears as the scanner source. So now I hit scan and am prompted to authorize, so I'll say allow always. And after a moment the scan is completed and the image data displays in the browser. At this point we can save the image to a local file, and our SDK prompts to allow local file system access. So I'll just save this here, and then find the PDF in the file system. I open it, and we can see the PDF. Okay, good. Next, instead of saving locally, let's try uploading to a server. Click the Upload button, and the PDF is sent to the Dynamsoft website. I think it's this one. And yes, there it is. So that's the basics of scanning on Linux via a web application developed using the Dynamic Web Twain SDK from Dynamsoft. Visit dynamsoft.com to learn more.